Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at step operators. Now in the last tutorial, we did a simple for loop. And in that for loop, it automatically stepped it up by one each time the for loop ran. Now, sometimes you won't want to do that. Maybe you want to step it by five or step it by even a hundred. There's an easy way to do this by using what's called the step operator. And you can also step negative numbers too. So let's go ahead and create a little demo application for this. We'll go ahead and go up to new project. We'll go to console application. And we will just call it step operator. And we'll just go ahead and click OK. Let's zoom in a bit here. Okay, so let's just add console.readline. So it waits for us to press enter or close out of the program for it to um, close the window before um, we're done reading. So um, let's go ahead and create a for loop. So we're going to do for num1 equals 1 to 20. And then we'll just do console.writeline num1. Now when you're making a for loop, you don't have to declare the variable num1. I know I did that in my last tutorial, but it isn't necessary. You can if you want to. Okay, so now that we've got this for loop done, let's just go ahead and do console.writeline up here, normal for loop. And let's create another for loop. So for num1 equals 1 to 20. And then let's just do console dot right line num one. Now these are exactly the same, but we can do something very simple to make them completely different. So for num one equals one to twenty, and we just call the step operator, and it says specifies how much to increment between each loop iteration. So that basically says whenever it gets down to the next, your whatever is after step is going to be how much it adds to num one. So let's just go ahead and let's step five in this for loop. So let's just come up here and type console dot right line. And then we'll do another one just so it adds a space in between our for loops. And we'll just say step by five. And now let's create one more for loop. Let's do console dot right line. And we'll do that one more time. But in this one, we'll say step by negative 4. So let's create one more for loop. So for num1 equals 20 to 1. And we'll just step that by negative 4. So what this is going to do is it's going to start our for loop at 20 and go down for each time until it gets to 1. And we'll just do console dot right line num one. So let's go ahead and run our program and see what happens. Okay, so up here we have our normal for loop, which starts at one and goes all the way to twenty and counts by one each time. And if we scroll down a bit, we have our step by five. It starts out at one, adds five to it, which gives you six, then gives you eleven and then it gives you 16. Now you can see it didn't print anything else after 16 and the reason it does this is because if you add 5 to 16 it's going to be 21 and that's going to be out of the bounds of the loop that we set. And here's our step by negative 4. It starts out at 20, subtracts 4 from it which is which makes 16, then it goes down to 12, then 8, then 4 and it doesn't go down to 0 because once again that would be out of the bounds that we set for the loop. Now step is a very simple thing to learn. Um, it's very useful though. Um, I find myself using it a lot when I make programs. Uh, so go ahead and give it a try, make some programs with it. And then once you've got that down, uh, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. So thanks for watching.